Hey, what's up guys? Thanks for tuning in. Uh, so today we're going to be doing not really a review, but more of an unboxing of first impressions uh, of a new reel. So I've been in the market for a new reel for a while. And uh, after buying this, this Dawa Laguna, I was in the market for something else. Uh, I've been looking for maybe a spinning reel and kind of didn't really want a spinning reel and kind of didn't want a bait casting reel. So I settled on this. What you have here is a Bass Pro Shops. It's extreme uh, spin casting reel. Pretty much in between this and this. Pretty much everyone that has ever fished has started on this. Started fishing on this. And most people have forgotten about these. They've forgotten about this as an option as a, you know, as a real, you know, serious fishing piece of gear. So let's go ahead and get it down to this, open it up, and show you guys what I got here. Okay, so just to let you guys know, I did already open this. I took it out, tried it out, and just to let you guys know, I fucking love it. I really love it. I fell in love with it the first few casts. And I don't know why more people don't use these. Probably because they they're not built as great, not not built as as well as like a bait of a you know a more professional bait caster. But this actually I, I really really enjoyed, had a lot of fun with, and I'm sure uh, you know anyone that starts using these kind of you know a high quality bait caster, sorry, a high quality uh, spin caster will will enjoy them as well and. And, you know, realize they're, they're a really good option. One of my philosophies in this channel has always been, you know, budget fishing. You know, more bang for your buck. And I think this has been really a really good option. It's it's um, it's become a great, you know, addition to my to my arsenal, to my uh, my real rod and reel arsenal. And uh, I'm gonna be later on putting a little footage of me using it. And uh, and see see what you guys think. And you know, just as the first impression, I, I first few casts, I realized this thing just casts like a beast. And a lot of people say that the you know spin casters they don't really cast that well. And I'm I'm sure it's because you know the, it's a closed closed reel design. It has a lot of, a lot of drag on it. You know, when the line when the line spits out, there's a lot of friction in the top of the top of the reel. The real body, you know, is, is the, the friction of it is causing you possibly not, have, not a long cast. That hasn't been the issue with this because it has such a big opening on the reel. But let's go ahead and open it and I'll show you guys. One of the reasons this, this reel really got my attention and I really, really liked was the look. It, I liked that almost like traditional like vintage look look to it. Make these look out of the way. And it is it is a little bit heavy. It's on the heavy side, but it's not to to the to the extent where it's really un, really uncomfortable. You know, coming from a bait caster, this thing light, you know, weighs almost nothing. You know, this thing is going to be a bit heavier, but manageable. Just so you guys can see the the port right here where the line go in and comes out, this is going to be huge right there. That's what's going to help you get those long casts, reduce the drag on the on the lip, and a, you know be able to cast for miles. That's that's one of the reasons why I was I was looking at this reel versus you know Zebcos and the and the Abu Garcias. You know that's gonna be the difference right there. Uh, the model number on this if anyone's interested in looking it up at Bass Pro uh, Bass Pro Shops .com, it's gonna be ETX SC10. That's gonna be the model number. And it's a four bearing so a three plus one and then the weight is going to be 10 ounces. Your max drag is going to be 9 pounds. Line capacity is going to be 8 
Uh, at eight pounds, eight pounds is 160 yards. Ten pounds, 135. Twelve pounds, 120 yards. And your gear ratio is uh, 4.6 to 1. It's the only option they have for this reel. And uh, it is it is only uh, a right hand, right hand retrieve. That was the only option. There's no option for left hand retrieve. Extremely smooth reel, surprisingly smooth reel. Uh, enjoyed it, like I said, a lot. And this would be a great option for a first beginner as well. Someone just serious about, you know, bass fishing, whatever. I got it for bass fishing, that's what I only do. Uh, for a kid, for a girlfriend, someone who doesn't have, you know, doesn't have that much experience with, with uh, fishing and could have some trouble with casters or spinning reels, this would be a great option. So priced right now, currently on Bass Pro, uh, BassProShops.com, it's currently $29.99. It was on sale for $19.99 just a few weeks ago. I missed it when I when I purchased it. I missed the, the the sale, and ended up paying full price for it. Also purchased a rod to go with this with this reel. I purchased. I wanted to go traditional, so I got this this trigger grip style. Also Bass Pro Shops. It's a classic 200 series uh rod six foot which was they only had a five foot and a six foot option they did have a few other few other uh uh rods that was you know this this, this kind of look on it i went with this one it was ten dollars and honestly this thing it works great has a has it's a medium to medium action it has a lot of flex in it and tip it's not you know what i'm used to with the fast tip but for for being a medium it's actually pretty decent and for ten dollars, you know, what what can you say? What more can you say for that? So, uh, both the rod and the reel came out to fifty four dollars, I believe, with tax and shipping. It would have been a little less if I would have gotten it for the for the nineteen ninety nine. But you know, next time, uh, I'll, hopefully, I'll, I'll I won't miss out on those deals. So I'm going to put in a little little footage right there of, my, of me using it and uh, we'll come back here and wrap it all up. So uh, hopefully, you know, after watching this video, you guys give spin casters a little bit more of a, more of a you know, realize it as an option, a uh, low budget option. There are, there are many other uh, spin casters out there, you know, Apple Garcia makes the Abomatics, Zepco makes makes a few, they're a little bit known for their, for their spin casters, and Bass Pro has, you know, five or six other uh, spin casters, spin caster models out there. So, like I said, it's, it's going to be a good budget option. This rod, sorry, this reel was, uh, I believe, sixty or seventy dollars, twenty-nine dollars, and these, you know, spin casters, uh, spin casters, spin, sorry, spinning reels, can average from, you know, thirty, twenty, thirty dollars up to a couple hundred bucks, depending on your, of your use or your, your need or how the size of them. So again, uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, and please subscribe, you know, like, comment. If you have any questions, let me know. And, uh, you know, I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks.